Hi everyone, Sirkin here, and today I'm gonna react to a video from a channel I haven't reacted to in a while. It's called Protoxis: A First Look into the Wilderness Rework in Samurai Boss. Now, uh, you're probably wondering where I'm at. Well, I'm at my player zone house, the activity area, and uh, I hope you all like this new avatar appearance of mine. Just, I'm just trying to look more shaman, uh, battle mage, well, spiritual. When it comes to being a shaman battle mage, you know the gems and the aurora cape. Also, click yes to uh, aurora skies if you want the aurora skies uh, thing for the sky and runescape. You know, it's uh, you can select a map or something, and you can choose free sky or something. And uh, you know what? I'll I'll talk about it in a, in a future video. So, anyways. Uh, uh, if you want to see this video yourself, then uh, then you can. I'll put in a link below. And Protox, you have a good channel, right? Especially one of those uh, necromancy videos that I will react. Just I haven't seen it for a while. Also, if you're wondering what's going in the background sounds, uh, that was just a fan. Just it's hot in my room. Because you know how summer is. Okay, let's go. In three, two, you know, let's just go. <laughs> Gangage just draw part two, the developer diary dedicated to the art team. There's the staff, I mean, sort of graphics. Whoa! Hang on, hang on, let's pause there, let's pause. Wait, is it gonna be that big? I mean, to be fair, guys can change their size at will, so yeah. Also, I'm just clicking here so that I won't exit to a lobby automatically. I got, enjoy all kinds of RuneScape content and, and want to stay up to I got my water news, bottle. Be sure to subscribe. So the first thing we're going to be talking about is new Samurai collected areas. As according to most said, the Good Samurai boss release, release and rework consists of more than just a new boss. They seem to be adding multiple <laughs> areas to the game, Dang, scary. an area called the Undercity in Zendista. Okay, hang on, what was that? Uh, yeah, I gotta be more quiet so I can hear what he's saying. Undercity in yeah, a little further. <laughs> Sorry. The Undercity? In the first they showcase concept art of this new area, which you can see on screen now. Thought you said Undercity, let's see. The concept art that this Undercity is equal to the surface, which leads me to believe it could potentially be just as large of an area. And it also mentions that the city is filled with demons, which is a cultist, mm. which could potentially... Be aggressive NPCs walking Will we get to tame more different demons? That just asking. I don't see why they wouldn't do this, by the way, because otherwise the city would feel pretty Yeah, good. I'm sorry for talking about his song, just I was just thinking, be cool if we can tame different kinds of demons, uh, other than the demons we can tame right now. Okay, I'll stop. This also has concept art for an NPC called Kofu that can wield multiple weapons and seems to have some kind of armor with three different tiers. Perhaps this is something related to the charge you can obtain from the boss yeah. and the current live invasion events. Now it could just be different levels of NPC, although I don't see why they would refer to this or different NPCs with different levels as tiers. Awesome. The reason I mention that theory is because you can see the cultists here have different tiers of armor or looks as well. Well, and cultists are most likely going to be NPCs walking around in that undercity. Next, Next we have, have the very first screenshot on the Wilderness Rework we've ever seen, at least. I have ever seen, and this screenshot is obviously in a very well-known location, being the center of the Wilderness Volcano yeah. between that sort of edicts in the middle. Yeah. Where should the lead the environment artist of RuneScape mentions that the new Wilderness will feel familiar, but will have a great range awesome. of color and atmospheric effects. One of the only great places about the Wilderness. All assets have been replaced with new versions of them. Chili also specifically mentions the following, I quote, We're breathing new life into the area and doubling down on that dark atmospheric tone. Oh well, boy. Which they describe with these keywords and images in the news post. The wilderness should be hostile, ruined, and desolate, and it should make the player feel threatened, anxious, and vulnerable. Oh my. Wait. Do you stop the revenues, anyone? Next up, we have some pretty specific images. Hey, I love you, man. I love you, man. Hmm. Did you make the player feel... The wilderness should be hostile, ruined, and desolate, and it should make the player feel threatened, anxious, and vulnerable. Oh. 
juiced up, up reference anyone. Next, Next up, we, we have, have some pretty substantial images and gifs on the Zamorak Boss and its Boss animations, and we even have an image of the Boss Arena, boss arena so. itself. Modern, Modern TV, the lead character artist of RuneScape mentions that the art team is trying to push the limits of possibilities for this update, and yeah. it seems like they're actually pushing the limits because this Zamorak model is a huge jump in fidelity, which is what they're saying, and the rig requirements were so high that they hit their maximum bone limit with We finally get to fight Zamorak for Wiesis after all these years. Man, those wings look bad, it's so demon-like. Explain what's going on there. Now, the first they mentioned that the animations were quite complex to make due to the detailed character and rig of the Zamorak boss. And this animation you can see on screen is one of the two animations they showed. You, you can tell he's big and tall. And then stab the ground with his uh, fingers or wing fingers or. Basically, Basically, just his wings. Wing so claws. The second animation they showcase in the like Bahama from Final Fantasy VIII. If they, if they show, show us a few seconds of the boss fight on the video, video tomorrow, tomorrow, which will also cover all on the live stream covering more details about the boss this weekend. In the, in the post, they kind of confirm that the Zamorak boss, boss will have some kind of meat spawn mechanic, at least that is the impression I'm getting from these sentences. They mention you're not just fighting Zamorak, the demons being constricted into the ranks, and he even mentioned the word demon being used as well. Wait, who is that in this damn ground? The graphical overall for oh, the yeah. of which, which we can already see in one game during the Zamorak invasion events. Oh yeah, I gotta get back to that game there, just to need those shards and stuff. This image showcasing the boss arena, or at least a part of it, which is supposed to be the same. Zamorak, if you destroy that sword, I will not be happy. You can really see the grand scale of the boss arena. That'd be disrespecting Gatlix instead. You can see its evil, doom-looking red, which is typically Zamorak, of course. Yeah. Looks like an Inferno world, uh, world even though we can't go there yet. Will we get to go there? I don't know. It's gonna be hot as heck. One last thing I do want to mention though is that according to MMORPG.com, oh, it's the, boss. the Blunt one. starting to hire people for an open world survival game set in the RuneScape universe in Unreal Engine 5. Mm. Now that is something I'd love to hear more about. Man, Samurai's scary. Look at how scary he be. Catch you guys in the next video. Okay. okay, you too, man. Peace. Okay, so that's my reaction to this uh, feel. Hang on a minute, wait. <sighs> Sorry, I thought I was gonna burp. So, yeah, that's my reaction to this uh, feel. And if you like, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you've seen the feel yourself, well, I mean the actual feel, not this feel. What do you think? Just be sure to put a, a, a comment and, and tell me what you like. Alright, see ya!